hey guys welcome back to my channel i am julie and if you do not know we recently moved to north mississippi but we are very near the tennessee border and the arkansas border and now that the kids are in school and we are a little more settled in i'm trying to explore the area around me and find some new places to shop and recently one of my subscribers told me that there was a painted tree marketplace in Memphis. So I am here today to go shopping at the Painted Tree. I am very excited. I have never been to one of these. I always wanted to. If you do not know what it is, it's basically like a huge craft show that is open every day of the week. So there's going to be some boutique stuff. There's going to be handmade stuff. There's going to be tons of jewelry, home decor, clothing. I don't know. I've never been so I'm not 100% positive. So why don't we actually just go in and check it out and see what they have. Wow, what a first impression. This place is gorgeous. And look at these light fixtures. If I could buy whatever I wanted for my house, I would definitely love to have something like this. I really like this take on a bottle brush tree. The bristles are very thick and white and they have this cement base and they are super tall and dramatic. They have them in several different colors and they look amazing all together in a collection. I'm not sure how you would recreate this, but I really, really like them. They have lots of different trees here. This one would be easy to recreate with just some yarn that you could get at the craft store. Look at these paper houses. I love these. They are white and textured and they have that little bit of gold foil these are so pretty not just for christmas but they will look great year around these were interesting look at these trees made of trees if you are going for a very rustic christmas look these will look great in your house y'all know i love botanicals and birds so i am obsessed with these i never thought about doing it in round frames but i love this look so I might have to recreate some of these for my house. I saw these little seating pots with floral all over the store. They are selling these for $7.50. They remind me of the ones that I just made in the IOD video. And these would be so cheap and easy to cre recreate. Here's some with some succulents. I really like these. These are perfect for year around decor. And I only paid $1 for six seating pots at the dollar store. You know this booth makes my heart skip a beat. And this business is called White Home Decor. <laughs> what a great name. I love everything in here. I really like the look of this tall metal canister. I wonder if I could recreate this using IOD transfers. And this piece too. So I've only done IOD transfers on drop cloth and never even thought about doing it on colored cloth. But I really like the way this looks. So I might have to experiment and try that out. Check out these candlesticks. They are made out of just old wood and I actually tried to find just these metal candle things online but I don't know what they're called and I can't find them because I'm thinking on any spindle or pillar that you have you could stick that on top and make it an instant candlestick so if you know what they called please let me know I liked how they had the metal sticking through the spindle here to make the candlestick even bigger I think that's a good idea as well now I don't have any lamps in my house, but if I did, <laughs> it would probably be something like this. These bunnies are too cute and I love the shape of it and that it feels like a piece of artwork instead of a lamp. Look how cute they are just laying there. Look at these cloches made from light fixtures. I just made one of these in my last video 
and they want $45 for each of these. I did think mine looked very high end and that's probably about what I would have charged for it. People always ask me what to put on top of risers and candlesticks. I think these little round floral balls are perfect to put on top of them. I personally love boutique clothing and the painted tree definitely had lots of clothing boutiques to look at. I was really thinking hard about these shoes, but I don't know. I'm more of a mid calf or tall calf boot person. I just can't get on board with the starter boots, but those were so cute. Here's some shackets. Okay, my husband and my son think I made up that word, but it's a real thing. It's a shirt jacket. I mean, I'm not into it, but I did not make up that word. <laughs> This booth had some really cute oversized sweaters that are great to wear with leggings, just tons of cute stuff. I really liked this sweater where it had like a kind of high, low hem. Now that we live in an area where it actually gets cold for more than a day, I can buy this kind of stuff and wear it. So that is exciting. I loved this sweatshirt. It says, don't worry, be happy. Totally me, but I didn't like that mustard color. If it, if it would have came in a different color, I would have totally picked up that sweatshirt. It was really cute. If you need some themed socks, this booth has got you covered. It was huge, like probably the biggest booth in the store, and it had so many socks to pick from. This booth had the most adorable kids clothes. Could you not see Ren Lucille wearing this little dress for Thanksgiving? This piece was so cool and it was absolutely massive. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. The only thing is I wish it would have had little card catalog pulls. I think that would have been a lot cuter. Doesn't this little dresser remind you of the piece that I just bought at a garage sale for my living room? Let's check the price and see how good I did. $428. I mean, I don't think that's an awful price for this. And that's what I figured I would spend on it brand new. So I'm happy with my $150 piece. Olive trees are very popular and cute. But let me show y'all the price tag on this piece. It is $75. I wonder if I could recreate something like this using all the cutoffs from my faux ficus tree that I just redid. This piece caught my eye from across the store. It's so pretty. It's on, it's painted burlap, and then it has these beautiful green trees and this pop of red in the barn. Ugh. I just love this for winter Christmas time. Okay, I thought it was going to be way more expensive than that. That is a great price for this huge piece. I really like these rugs in outdoor spaces where you don't actually need a rug, but you want to add a little character. I had these on my sidewalk in Louisiana until I ran over with a lawnmower. And these are really hard to find, these long skinny rugs. If you are a painter like me, you will love these little sponge things. They have built-in soap and they are so perfect for getting paint off your hands and legs and wherever you get paint. And my friend Mandy at the Med Spa sells these. That's where I buy mine from. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to order some from her or check your local boutique, see if they have some. I adore vintage prints and I wish the boys would let me put something like this in their room but you know they're getting older and they have their own opinions but they do really want to hang posters up over their bed so I'm thinking maybe we can compromise I can let them pick out the poster that they want but then frame it out like this just to update it a little bit and make it look prettier the way that I like it wow this artist is so talented she had some beautiful paintings how special would something like this be in your house look how pretty she is this little spindle table so if i could buy whatever i wanted i would get the two upholstered chairs to put in a breakfast nook and then put a table like this in between them oh that would look so good 
I also really love architectural prints and blueprints. This booth is full of architectural drawings of towns. This is Germantown. This is actually the town I am shopping in right now. I love this sort of stuff. Somebody do one of these of Piaf Art so I could buy it. Actually, I could probably do one on my design program. It would take a long time, but I bet I could do one of Piaf Art, which is the town me and my husband are originally from, if you do not know. My teenage son would probably love something like this. These little creatures are so cute. They are very expensive, but I'm sure it takes a lot of time to make one of these. I really like the color combination on these tables. It was kind of like a white chippy look with some gray and then this gold foil underneath. Oh, I really like that. What do y'all think? I don't know if this stuff was for sale. I didn't see any price tags on it and it was kind of tucked in the back corner, but I want this in my dining room. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. And look at this table. It's so worn and aged looking. I absolutely love it. I thought these pillows were adorable, kind of a modern spin on a vintage style pillow. And I really liked how they had it displayed on this old ladder. Wow, y'all, I am feeling so inspired after going to that place. It was absolutely beautiful. It was huge. I was in there for two hours. I only filmed the stuff that I thought was just amazing or this video would have been forever. But there was tons of handmade craft booths, lots of candles, lots of different paint lines, clothing, just really a little bit of everything. So if you are needing some inspiration, this is a great place to go. You can get ideas on what is trending right now, what things are being priced at, and staging, and what people are using to stage their booths. It was so good. And if you think that these places are not looking at us for inspiration, you are wrong. So there is nothing wrong with coming here for a little bit of inspiration. I definitely recommend checking out a painted tree if you have one in your area. I did buy one thing. One thing, y'all. I just had to have it. You know what? I could probably maybe recreate something like this, but for $25, it's just much easier to buy it. That is the only thing that I bought today, but I really enjoyed this trip and I hope y'all enjoyed shopping with me as well. If you have any recommendations of places that are near me that I should check out, leave it in the comments below. I really want to start exploring more of the area. I think next time we're gonna go to an antique store that um, called Sheffield's Antique Mall that a lot of people have been telling me about and maybe see if I can find some other thrift stores besides the Goodwill that I have been going to. All right, guys, y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video. Hey, future Julie here. I just left Sheffield's Antique Mall and it was amazing. So if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe because you do not want to miss that video. Bye, y'all.